All right. Good afternoon, YouTube. It's happy hour. It's a very special happy hour for me. Today's Tuesday, and so that means it's Taco Tuesday. Unfortunately, since, uh, well, pretty much the whole year, um, the lockdowns and business closures have really been killing Taco Tuesday for me because, you know, you had to eat outside if the place was open. My favorite taco shop, which I'm going to right now, was only drive through only. I hope they're not. Uh, but Taco Tuesday is a special happy hour. It's probably the most important happy hour of all week. Uh, because. Because I say so. It's the most important to me. I feel that way. Because tacos are great. So where are we going? Well, we're going to a place called TJ's Tacos. And TJ's Tacos uh, makes authentic Tijuana-style street tacos. So for my viewers not from California, you may be unfamiliar with this style of taco, but it is uh, the best style of taco, again, because I say so, uh, of my own edict. I don't know what I was ever calling tacos before I moved to California and started uh, eating Tijuana street tacos because they are the best types of tacos. Really the only taco that's worth eating on a Taco Tuesday. Unfortunately, it's not a uh, real, it's not a real big Taco Tuesday because they don't sell alcohol here at TJ's, which is a shame. So, no cervezas, no cervezas with my tacos today, but that's all right. I just need to get some tacos. My favorite thing here, and hopefully I get it on video. I don't even know why I'm mentioning it, but my favorite part of this place is the Atabata tacos because they make it fresh right there in front of you on the spit. So you got like the, uh, the pork sitting there searing and marinating over uh, uh, overheat. Oh man, it's, it's something that I can't describe to you and do it justice. Hopefully, hopefully I can get inside and get some video of this. If not, you will have to be happy just to see the end result. Still no PlayStation or Xbox, uh, just to give an update on my previous video. I got some alerts out there, but I haven't gotten anything back. I, like I said at the end of my last video, I'm pretty sure that, uh, excuse me, I'm pretty sure that they're holding on to their stock for Black Friday so they can sell them and sell add-ons and things like that, like I said, to fill in gaping holes in their margins this year. Which I guess would make total business sense. Again, I'm not a businessman, but uh, whatever. It is what it is. I'll tell you what I'm not doing to get a PS5 or Xbox. I'm not paying the outrageous thousand dollars or whatever they're asking for on um, all those Facebook marketplaces and Craigslist and eBay. That is what I'm not going to do because it's a temporary shortage this is not a shortage that's going to last forever you know there's a reason why like a 68 Corvette is worth more now than it ever was brand new because of shortage they're never going to make another 68 Corvette so economic principles demands that the value of that car uh, based off of the demand of it would also cause the price to go up. Not with Xboxes. Okay, here we are. 
I see a long line at the drive-thru. I do see an open sign. I think we're good to go in. I don't see anyone on the patio. That makes me a little nervous if I'm going to have to take tacos to go. I might be sidewalk Taco Tuesdaying it today. Oh, we got a Santana, Santa Anna's coming in over here. It's like a, I call it a mini chain. There's a lot of mini chains in California. Restaurants that have multiple locations. Santa Ana makes good Mexican food. It used to be a, used to be kind of a hipster spot called the Wooden Spoon. It was not very good. They had like a rotating menu. It, it was not good. I went there a couple times, tried different menus, tried different dishes. Never found one I liked. I guess my palate was not refined enough. Alrighty. What is this? Drive through only? No! No. You guys, this is not good. This is drive through only. But these tacos are so good. I'm going to sit in my motorcycle, on my motorcycle, through this line to get these tacos because they are that good. I'll get some good shots of them too for you. I feel like I'm in that blockhead video. Have you guys seen that blockhead video? I forgot what hurricane it was, but it was like right after the hurricane, he's sitting there in like the Burger King drive through talking about his Vance and Hines auto-tuning experience and, and everything, which is a video that I'm trying to do, not the whole, this was not planned to sit in a drive through but to do a video on auto-tuning the Vance and Hines FP3. But yes, reminiscent of one of my favorite YouTubers, Motovloggers Blockheads video. Sitting in line at a drive through I actually am not going to talk through this whole wait because this is going to be a long wait. So I'll catch up with you once I order and get some tacos in hand to show you. Alright, well you missed the part where I ordered, but I got three Autobata tacos. It's my favorite thing on the menu here. Onion, cilantro, salsa, and avocado dip, which is not guacamole. It's um, it's uh, more of a it's more liquid than avocado. Avo uh, guacamole. It's um, it's quite something. <sighs> good stuff here. I love the Autobata fries. So good. Burritos are delicious. Everything here is good. Everything is here good. The best way I can put this, this is like, um, this is like you go over to your your friend's home, and for like a, a party or something like that, and uh, you know, like his uh, his uncle Ricardo has got like his like uh, little taqueria setup going on in the background. It's like that. It's like if Uncle Ricardo had his own taco stand. This is what it would be right here. I love living in Southern California. Mexican food, so good. I was never much of a fan of Mexican food until I moved to Southern California. Also, I screwed up my Instagram story and I put the wrong TJ's Tacos on it. And I don't know how to edit it or change it. Oh, well. Good thing it's only up for a couple days. And then it disappears into the ether like it never happened. Except for them documenting it here as I'm talking about it. But I'll probably edit this out too. Because I'm sort of just rambling at this point. Mmm. Throwing that sour cream on those Autobata fries. I'm a big fan of sour cream. Hey, how you doing? Good, thank you. There you are. Also, the prices. You can't beat the prices here. Oh. There's the avocado dip right there, that green sauce that he's throwing up on that. I hope you guys can see that. Yeah. 
Excellent. Thank you. And let's see if I can put this on the bike or if I'm going to have to. Thank you. Yep. Oh, those tacos aren't going to look good when I open them back up in a minute. That's a bummer. But they will still taste the same. That's for sure. They just won't look pretty on the camera for you. Push this motorcycle all the way through this drive through line. Nothing will stop me from enjoying these tacos. All right. We're going to head to the American Legion post. I think they're open. If they're not open, I'm eating these tacos in their parking lot. All right, what's up? We're here. American Legion Post 149. I got my tacos here from TJ's Tacos. Enjoy this Taco Tuesday. Ceremonial Modelo Especial to go with it. Here's a Taco Tuesday. Thanks for watching. So here's the Autobata, the, the pork right there. You can see the sauce on it, the green sauce, the cilantro, onions. Mm. Love it. Love it. All right, well, since it's probably going to be dark when I'm riding home and GoPro doesn't like uh, low light uh, rides, uh, I guess I'll do my sign out. This is Two Guns Tony. I do moto vlogs, product reviews, gaming, just general bullshit talking on my Harley mostly but I got some other videos planned coming up that don't involve my Harley so um, yeah hopefully you guys will like that I'm at 150 subscribers I think this channel has a lot of potential to for growth I think I have a lot of potential for growth on YouTube and I'd appreciate it if you would hit subscribe give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below because I love to read the comment section. I, I guess uh, that might be a thing uh, um, because I have uh, maybe a smaller channel. I don't know. A lot of big YouTubers and you know even like Joe Rogan. Don't 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 get it confused. I'm not confusing myself for being anywhere near as uh, <laughs> uh, to their level. But a lot of people say they don't like reading their comments. They don't read their comments because of negativity. I mean, I don't. I have. I don't think I've gotten any negative comments. But if I were to get some negative comments, uh, I mean, I guess that would be all right. I don't. I don't really care. I don't really. I don't really feed on negativity. It doesn't really do anything for me. But uh, if you want to leave me a positive comment, I will definitely respond to you. Uh, at the very least, say thank you for watching and uh, leaving a comment. So please, I hope I earned your subscription, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. And through the magic of video editing, I will show you these tacos once I get to where I'm going to eat them.